All right, good morning. It is Tuesday morning, week 98. It is push day. I have already got up this morning. I've already done my warm ups, my wake my body up routine on the patio. I did a small, some small animal moves, nothing big, just a little stuff to get the body rolling. A little prone position, the beast position, some crab position, some ape position, just some little movements, no timing, no nothing. Just a little routine that I do to just like wake up. Now it's time to get the real workout on X3. This is almost the easier workout than those animal routines I've been doing. This is so simple, just come out and just push it until you can't push it no more, and then you move on to the next one. Let's get ready to go. Chest press coming up. All right, I start out with the black band, serious steel black band. It's just gonna be a warm up, just to get the body ready to go, knowing, let my body know what we're gonna be doing. So we're gonna do like 10 reps. Nice and slow. Haven't done this since last Tuesday. So letting the body know what we're getting ready to do. All right, I was 10. Just feeling around, seeing what it feels like. I got a little soreness up here in the shoulder. Doing those animal moves down, the, down in, the, in the beast position and stuff puts a lot of movement on the head and my neck. It's not used to holding itself up in that position. So I got some cramps and stuff going on over here in my back of my neck and my traps. Kind of like when you used to play football and football season starts on, you put that helmet on and the first couple weeks you're like, oh my God, this helmet is so heavy. And then after you get used to carrying it, then your neck gets a little bit stronger. Well, I haven't worn a helmet on my head <laughs> in quite a few years. So my neck's not used to being used in those positions. So I'm trying to strengthen my neck. And obviously down in that beast position, your head's hanging down. So you gotta pull your head up and look up. So my neck's getting some work. So it's feeling it right now. Anyway, yellow band coming up. All right, time for some yellow band chest press. See how my neck and upper shoulder are gonna deal with this. We're just gonna get it done. Wow, I felt, ooh. 
that felt great. A little, a little pain up in here, just knots. But overall, I think my strength has actually improved since last week I did that. I got 20 total pushes, and those first 10 to 12 felt freaking great. Allowing my body more time to rest in between doing the total exhaustion workout has actually benefited at this point. Adding all that other stuff I'm doing on the ground, using my muscles in totally different directions is also helping, so very encouraging. All right, I think I'm gonna do crossovers today. Coming up. All right, that's about a minute break, just enough time to grab the X3 dark gray band, set my grips up. Love a lot more. Sixteen with a big push at the end. Whew. <laughs> that felt good. Also let you know I'm also fasting. Haven't had anything to eat since uh, what Sunday night. So working on getting rid of some of this. Whew. All right. Break time and then we're gonna do some overhead. See how the traps feel with that. Stop. All right. All right, overhead press coming up next. Blue band, serious steel, which is same as the light gray band. Kind of waited till hopefully the weed whacker next door is finished uh, doing what they're doing. Like I said, I got some knots all up in the shoulders up in here. So when you're actually, when you're doing that, it hurts a lot. So I'm just gonna see what I can do here. If I have to go slow, if I have to go fast, whatever, I'm just gonna work it out and see what it does. Got 20 with that. I started out coming low as I could, trying to get a stretch in the shoulders coming down really low. Once I started getting tired, keeping that a little bit high and putting a lot more strain into the, into the delts. But that's <laughs> those knots right up in here. Whew, they start hurting pretty bad. 
been rolling around with the uh, lacrosse ball up underneath my traps. And uh, tomorrow I'll go see my chiropractor. Hopefully he can put some of the stem on there and use some of that uh, magic that he does to kind of loosen something up back there. Whew, okay. That was good though, I felt that. I could feel that at the end. I know I could get more if I didn't have those little cramps going on in my neck, but I still worked it, I worked it to the end. All right, we got triceps coming up. All right, it's time for some triceps. Serious Steel Black Band. Oh, 18. <laughs> I can feel that trap really barking at me. I tried to keep concentrate as much as I could and just using the triceps to push the band. But the trap was barking, so kind of cut into my concentration. But I still got a good burn. We're still going to finish up with calves and then we're going to do the hanging for the pull bar and the dip stand routine. Whew. All right, last one today for the X3 is calves. I'm doing the green band, which is the same as the dark gray band for the X3. I like the lighter band so I can get higher reps in it and I can get more of that peak contraction at the top when I do it with the, uh, with the black band, not getting as many reps and not getting as high in that peak contraction. At least that's me, my calves suck. So I'm working at it. Oh, oh my God, wow. Oh, that, was, that was only 40 today. Whew, calves are tired. Be surprised how much you're using your calves when you're down in those uh, in that beast position and the ape moving around. You're using your calves a lot. I've also been trying to, uh, when I'm out with my wife doing things, not only just coming up on my calves and holding that peak for a while, but now I'm trying to do it with one foot, hold the balance and hold that calf up off the ground, especially when she's shopping and I'm just behind her pushing the cart, <laughs> assisting her. And when I get a moment, I'll just stand there and just raise up on one, one calf. If I got somewhere to hold on to, I'll hold on to it and just try and keep that peak one calf at a time. 
kind of like an isometric. But my calves do get tired by the end of the day, so I'm working on those constantly. All right, so I don't know if anybody wants to watch me do my pull-up hangs. They are boring to watch, and they're just so simple to do. I'm just gonna do 10 rounds hanging from the pull-up bar with a standard pull-up. I'm gonna try and go out as wide as I can and get a big stretch as much as I can. But I'm gonna do 10 rounds at 40 seconds each. Then I will take a break and I'll set up the dip bar and I will do my 10 rounds of 30 second stat static hold at the top and then 30 seconds of static hold at the bottom. Back and forth, five each for 10 total rounds. That gets a big stretch in the chest, a big stretch in the shoulders. And also when you're doing that static lockout, man, you're really using your core a lot. Get used to getting that straight arm locked into that position, tricep activated, bicep, shoulders activated, and really using that core a lot to keep yourself stable. So that's what I'm finishing off with. I don't know if anybody wants to watch me do that. It's boring, but that's what I'm gonna do right now to finish up my routine. So that was it. Today was the easy day. It's X3 is now actually easy compared to the, the animal flow stuff that I'm doing. That is, come on, babe. That is a lot more, um, he decided to get right behind me and I stepped on his paw, poor guy. Um, this is so much easier to come out here and just just uh, get it get it done with in there, man. A lot, a lot of movement, a lot of a lot of core activiz activization, activization. Um, whew, tired, and um, a lot of coordination when you're moving different limbs in different positions and you're trying to support your body. Um, tomorrow is the big, uh, big animal move day. I probably got a big day to do, and I'm trying to work up something different than what I did last week. I'm gonna try something a little bit different this week, still staying with the basics of the beast, the crab and the ape, but I wanna challenge myself a little bit more and that'll be tomorrow. Um, if anybody wants to see that, let me know. I doubt you do, <laughs> but because I am no professional, I am still just a very novice beginner, novice beginner, just learning how to do this stuff and trying to challenge myself each time I'm doing the basic. And I like that staying with the basic the beast, the crab, and the ape, and just kind of progressing slowly up from that. Those other things, once I get better at it, I can go up higher. But uh, right now, I'm just staying with those and challenging myself with different uh, different movements with that. So that's it for today, week 98, X3 push day. I feel like I am getting stronger by not doing X3 every day or every other day. I'm actually giving myself a break in between. The next time will be pull day, which will be on Thursday, um, if something doesn't happen. It's planned on Thursday. Um, and like I said, from last time I did push day to this day, man, I'm telling you that chest press felt better. When I first pushed that yellow band out, that thing felt like the black band. It felt really, really good. And then once I started getting up to like 12, 13, 14, 15 minutes, I started getting tired because it's obviously a higher tension band and I started getting tired quicker. But those first ones going out felt freaking fantastic. Hard to believe just several months ago, I could barely get that yellow band off my chest. So progress is, is, is consistency. Also letting your body rest. I think I've been overdoing it um, with the X3 and I give my body the proper amount of rest. I am old, <laughs> I am 57, so I'm a little bit older, probably need a little bit more rest for my body than if I was 32 or 28 or even 42. Um, so I'm trying to give myself the extra rest that I need while I'm still challenging myself on those off days with the, the skill aspect that I wanna work on. So thanks everybody for showing up. Uh, thanks for the new subscribers showing up here and watching me ramble and do my stuff. But uh, I will see you when I see you next, either push day or pull day on Thursday, or if everybody wants to see my uh, little program tomorrow, just let me know and I will uh, post that. All right, have a good day. Get it done. Go live your life.